Hello and welcome to another Art House Movie Review. This time I'm reviewing the documentary Squaring the Circle, The Story of Hypnosis, directed by Anton Corbin. So this is a documentary about hypnosis and its founders, Poe and Storm. Now, hypnosis designed album covers for classic bands such as Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, 10CC, Paul McCartney and Wings... And they designed many of the iconic covers of the 70s, the, the prism on the dark side of the moon, the burning man on Wish You Were Here, the inflatable pig flying over Battersea Power Station. So I was at school at the time that all these albums were released and these covers were really high profile. We all knew them as images. They were really iconic. It, was, it really was a golden age of album covers. This is a competent documentary which definitely tapped into the nostalgia for me. And the music accompaniment is great too. We get extracts of each of the albums. And we get really interesting background on how all these amazing covers came about. Of course, no Photoshop existed, although sometimes they did use collage. In fact, for the Animals Pink Floyd cover with the pig over Battersea, the pig was actually stuck onto the photo afterwards. This wasn't because they didn't really fly a pig over the power station, but rather because the cable snapped and the pig flew into space. And yes, they really did set a man on fire for the Wish You Were Here cover. If you're younger and don't have any attachment to these album covers, is this documentary of interest? I would say possibly yes, if you're interested in seeing really talented creatives explaining their process. It is a very conventional documentary, but I think this is okay as the content takes centre stage. What I would say is that it's not necessary to see it on a big screen. It's like a TV documentary. I did see it on the TV on the Curzon home streaming service. One thing which felt a bit misjudged was the closing scene where we see Poe today with his drawings on his back walking down a tree-lined country lane. I felt that this was almost supposed to look like an album cover and after 90 minutes of these iconic and historic covers almost any attempt at creating a contemporary album cover shot was bound to fail. This just felt misjudged and unnecessary. On the whole this is an excellent and informative documentary if you have any interest in the subject matter. Thanks for watching. See you next time.